Right, hello everybody, 314 React here. Last week we looked at Stray and I kept talking about how it would look good with ray tracing. Now one of my viewers, ASDFJKLO, mentions that PC Gaming Wiki, you can force the ray tracing through an INI setting. So we are now on PC Gaming Wiki. And I've noticed here you can also force an isotropic filtering to 16 and you can also add in temporal super resolution and HDR on top of adding the ray tracing and also the ability to unlock the FPS here. So I'll put a link in the description to the PC gaming wiki. So what you need to do is you need to go to local app data. Now this is a bit of a pain when games do this, but whatever. App data local and then you need to go to HK underscore project. I don't know why it's called that. But there you go. Uh, so you go in here, saved, config, and then Windows No Editor. And it will give you a number of config files that you can edit. So you've got engine INI, which is where you can add the system settings for TSR. So that will give us a, hopefully a better uh, form of anti-aliasing, similar to FSR1. I don't think it will stack up to FSR2 or anywhere near DLSS, but it should clean up the image a little bit. And there's also where you can add in max anisotropy so we'll add that in there now as well so that's r dot max anisotropy crank that under there and we'll set that to 16 max that out and then under game engine user settings under that same folder you can then add in r dot ray tracing equals one and you can also switch on the hdr display output there as well i can't record or edit in hdr very well so i won't add that in for now now the frame rate where's that game user settings dot any so that's the same one frame rate limit zero so i think that's unlimited anyway and then the only other thing you need to do once those have been added in is to add dx12 into the game launch settings so we open up steam here and we go to gray and we go to properties and we go to the launch options and then we put in dash dx12 then we close that off and there's been an update so once that update's done i will hit the go button and we will dive right in, but due to the magic of editing, you won't notice anything. And right, so it's a good sign so far. Nothing's crashed, nothing has gone wrong. So let's have a look. Let's go into the graphics. What have we got here? Yep, uncapped frame rate. Um, so we don't need to worry about that in the settings. Yada, yada, yada. I think the TSR upscales from a certain resolution. So I don't know if you need to turn the resolution down from here or whether TSR will just work straight away. But we're not too worried about TSR. So I'm going to just dive right in and see the ray tracing. We should see an impact on the frame rate and we should see better lighting and reflections. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay. Holy crap. That looks immediately noticeably better. And the frame rate has gone down. It was running at like 98 frames a second last week. Oh, wow. Look at the difference. That looks amazing. Look at the shadowing and the lighting. Yeah, that's... that's yeah, and look at the shadow under the cat there. You can see the like the rays filling in and stuff, and the rays and the reflections there. I think there's some issues with it, because you can see that area up ahead on the wall there, and some of the distant areas have some weird lighting on them. But holy crap, that looks amazing. Wow, I'm going to try and edit some footage in from my previous video here, so we can do a direct comparison when I was in this area. And yeah, oh wow. <laughs> oh, that looks awesome. It's worth losing 60 frames over that. Yeah, I'm just trying to look at a video now on my previous video on my phone. And yeah, the lighting is completely different. Wow, that is amazing. Look at that. It's so much more global illumination, the shadowing. I knew this would look good with ray tracing. Well, I mean, anything does, doesn't it? Let's face it. Oh, some weird stuff going on there. You can definitely see there's some weird, like, fireflies. I think that's the right term to the left there. Look at that. But I think that's... That could just be tidied up with ray counts or some sort of settings on the ray tracing. And look at the reflection of the cat there. I think they had that anyway, even without the ray tracing on, but it does look... You see, actually, I'm wondering, because the legs aren't actually moving on the cat there, I'm wondering if that's something else they've done instead of ray tracing. 
or some sort of optimization? I don't know, because it's not actually animating in the reflection there, which it should be if it's tracing rays, right? So I don't know what's entirely going on there. I don't know whether that's the subset of ray tracing that they use to get reflections in, or just some sort of glitch with ray tracing being on. That very interesting. But my god, yeah, all the shadowing looks so much better now. Like, so much better. And the lighting looks softer and more real. Wow. And if I remember correctly, last week the CPU utilization was about 20 or so percent, maybe a bit more, maybe 50 percent. And the GPU utilization was about 65 percent, if I remember correctly. And now my GPU utilization is at 95 to 99 percent. 26 FPS in this area. Wow. And even a bit of stuttering there. I can see why they turned it off, because it probably needs a bit of extra work done, but a little bit of extra work, not too much, I don't think, and I'm also going to try and intercut some uh, samples from my previous video here. But I think with a bit of work and DLSS 2, you could get this up to 60 FPS, and you could have it looking really, really good. And I think even the TSR makes things look a little bit better here, though I could be imagining that. But just everything looks way better, because you're not getting that classic ambient occlusion rasterized kind of look. I wonder if it's even doing ray tracing through that glass there as well, like Quake 2 thick glass sort of stuff. I mean, yeah, you can say the frame rate is low, but whenever you get a new technology that pushes things forward like ray tracing, which is incredibly hard to do in real time, you know, you're going to have the early iterations of it be not exactly smooth. So you have to kind of deal with that. Oh, God. I'm fairly certain that's some ray tracing going on there. Might not be, it might just be... Although I don't know, actually, if you look at the, the way the glass is refracting that light through there... That looks really realistic. Yeah, I think that is using ray tracing for those refractions through the glass. Oh, look, you can even see the reflection of the cat in that can there. Oh, ho, ho. And you see, this is Unreal Engine 4, isn't it? So... I do wonder if they have backported some Lumini stuff back, or whether this is just some sort of, oh my god, that frame rate. <laughs> or whether this is some sort of Unreal Engine 4 implementation of ray tracing. Oh my god, that frame rate! Like, almost single digits there. Oh, that's awesome. Wow. I love the story of this as well. It's so cool. I mean, cats are cool and robots are cool. Put the two together and boom. You've got a winning... You've got a winning solution. Oh, look at those shadows. I do wonder how much is being rasterized here alongside the ray tracing, but it does look like, to me, I mean, you may have still have some baked in shadows there and stuff like that. It does look like to me the old AO system is completely gone and has been replaced by RT. Could be wrong on that. Yeah, look at the reflections in those windows there. Something odd's going on there. That'll be some sort of setting somewhere along the line to do with sensitivity of the rays or what it's reflecting or I don't know. Light, lighting values, maybe the ray steps and counts and all sorts of stuff like that. As if you can see the little reflections there like sparkling in the ground. I'm going to have to do some reading up onto what causes that with ray tracing. But here we are at 23 FPS. Go for another bucket ride. We're down to 18 FPS. Ooh. Wow. <laughs> This looks awesome. Now, with ray tracing on, it looks even more like cyberpunk. Uh oh. It's like robot citizens. Oh. Okay, that's. That's freaky. Is that a glitch because of the ray tracing, or is that a ghost of a robot? I can handle robots. I can almost handle ghosts, but ghost robots? Oh, I don't know about that. Is this a samurai robot or something? Aww. 
I think it's the off scene reflections there and that, that hat he's wearing. Isn't that an adorable picture? <laughs> Robot village. Oh, this looks so good. Look at the golden leg there. Look at those reflections. I'm going to check out some of those reflections in a second. Wow. My god, look at those reflections. Off-screen reflections there. Little uh, imperfections on the ground there in the reflection and also the sort of wet ground is also causing some uh, like ref refractions and bending of the light in the reflection there. It looks like there might even be reflections in the cat's eyes there. Uh, let's see if we can find out. So you've got a big red light there. That'll be your best goal to get a reflection in, right? Oh, it's tough to tell, isn't it? You know what? Let's see if we can go on the other side. See if we can get close to the cat's eyes. You know what? I think the cat's eyes are actually reflecting in real time the world around it. Look how much softer and better the lighting looks as well. Like, it just looks so much better. You got this dude here. Oh, look at that! The colour changing. Oh, man. That's cool. Interestingly, there's still some SSR stuff going on. Because you can see there... That that sign, that red sign, the reflection stops before it even leaves the screen. Which means there's some sort of weird thing going on there with SSR. But the reflection still stays there, even when it's off screen. I think what we have here... Yeah, that looks really horribly offset and incorrect. I think what's happening is, on top of the ray tracing, there's still some... SSR happening here. Those crates at the top, that green cake, the crate is still in the reflection even though it's off screen. So I think you could probably claw back some performance by completely disabling SSR in certain areas. Ooh, look at that up there. I don't know what's going on with that piece of cloth up there hanging. That looks like as it's moving, it's changing the reflection. I don't know whether that's... Ooh, I don't know whether that's because of the ray tracing or not. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Got another reflective surface up there. I reckon give it a couple of months and the devs will have cleaned this up and you'll be able to enable it in the UI. I think they probably had it partially implemented and they couldn't finish it off all the way or the version of UE4 they're using just allows you to flick on ray tracing that easily. And there's just a few additional tweaks they need to add in at the end. Some weird ghosting here. Just seemingly in that area, ghosting, ghosting, ghosting. Could be because of the TSR or it could be because of the ray tracing. Or a mix of the both. Not entirely sure. There's yeah, seemingly plenty of reflections around here. Okay, so I'm going to play a bit forward and we'll try and get a bit more footage from a different area. Also, I've just realised that you can like rub up against the, the uh, robot legs like a real cat does. I mean, come on. And the robots can trip up over you. I mean, come on. This game is brilliant. Also, just looking at this reflection here up on this vending machine. It looks a bit cube mappy. But I think it is actually a reflection, real-time reflection going on there. Because you can see the robot. But it also looks a bit, maybe a bit of SSR going on there. Due to the kind of stretch in the reflection from the robot's head. Or it could just be an artifact from the ray tracing not being fully configured. It's reflecting that light on the left there, I think. Which I can't tell if that's physically accurate or not. Let's see if we can get this robot to trip up over me. <laughs> see, let the robots trip up over you. Genius. You can also see a very subtle reflection of the cat here. And the metal there, which looks really good. Yeah, that's really good. Here we have a ram soup. <laughs> Look at that. I want some ram soup. Look at this area. Listen to this music. It's like something from Oddworld now. Man, this is cool. Of course, got to do a bit of physics. There we go. And if the game makers knew what they were doing, they will let you pot all the balls and they should give you a achievement for doing so. So I'm going to do that. Look at the streaks from that <laughs> shadowing with the ray tracing though. Definitely some work needs doing on that. Come on. 
This is ironically easier than real pool. Let's try and get this one in. It's in. And final one. Come on. If I don't get an achievement for this, I will be disappointed. Oh, there's a ball on the floor, I think. Ah, oh, damn it. Oh, look at the reflection of the ball there. Again, more ray tracing. That's really cool. Ah, uh, no achievement. It could be because one of the balls fell on the floor here. Still worth it. Look at that lying. I think that's some baked in shadows there on the ground there. Could be wrong. Look how adorable this is. Absolutely adorable. You got everything you need here. Cats, robots, and ray tracing. So it looks like this is a bit of a quest hub area. So we're gonna just check out some of the other materials here. Like the slight reflections here in this metal. Just about to see the reflection of the cat. And it looks really, really good. And I think there's subtle reflections of everything behind it as well. And then, like, like I said, all the water here is really nicely reflected. And mixes all very well with the shadowing and everything like that. That's the thing with ray tracing, is that everything becomes seamless. All the reflections, lighting, shadowing, all of it. Because it's all part of the same algorithm. And even the cat's reflection there in the bottles and stuff like that. It's very reminiscent of Doom Eternal when they added ray tracing. Where you can see the reflection of the Doom Slayer in health files and things like that. So yeah, that is how you enable ray tracing in Stray. And it is worth it. I mean, I'm running a 3090 at 4K, and it's pretty heavy, so I'm running like 20 to 30 FPS, sometimes even lower than that, but it looks so damn good, and you don't really need too much of a high frame rate for this game, so I'm fine with it. And I think in future, if you're running a 3060 once they've got this cleaned up a bit and uh, added in some decent upscaling, I think this will be pretty damn smooth and will look very, very good. And I'm fairly confident the devs are going to add in ray tracing at some point officially. See if we can find one more thing to take a look at before we sign off. Let's have a look at this window up here. So that's reflecting that light there. I think it's also refracting what's behind it a bit as well. Yeah, I am really happy with that. The soft lighting from the ray tracing, the shadowing that just looks so much more natural than artificial rasterized ambient occlusion, the really good reflections, everything just adds up to a much more tangible world. It's really interesting to see how it literally shaves off. I mean, here we're shaving off about 70 FPS. All the links are in the description, the PC gaming wiki, that should have all the information you need to add this in. And I think it's well worth it. I mean, even if you just want to use it to turn on anisotropic filtering and things like that, it's well worth it. And I'm going to try this with HDR at some point outside of filming, and I bet it looks even more gorgeous. So thanks for watching. Please leave a like, subscribe, hit the little bell, and leave a comment to let me know what you think. And I will see you in the next video.